Morning everyone. It's Sunday morning, uh, June the 9th. Got a dog barking here at uh, 5.15 here in the morning. Heading up the mountain trail or road here. Some may call it a trail because it's dirt and rock. But it is a road to uh, Santiago and Santo Tomas. Good morning everyone. It's upset because it hears me in English. <laughs> so, yeah, although it should know me quite well after over a year of coming by. Anyhow, uh, coming up on my uh, 16 month anniversary here in the Philippines, thought I'd talk to you a little bit and answer some questions that you may have. I'll uh, leave them in the comment if you got any. And hopefully I can answer them, can't answer them all because I don't know it all, even though I've been here 15 months. But some of the things that uh, I've talked about or maybe not have talked about is, uh, one of the things that's kind of surprising is uh, uh, getting things done here and stuff. So just be prepared, be prepared for that if you're coming here. Um, you know, it's like in America, I've said before that you wake up in the morning, like this you know, Sunday morning, you're going to go to the uh, grocery store, you're going to go get your license, you're going to get the car repaired, you're going to go check on, go to the dentist or something. Well, here in the Philippines, you're lucky if you get one of them things done during the day. Uh, just because of all the, uh, just different things. Just everything slow, you know, slowed down. Got to get a ride. Uh, will they show up on time? Uh, or can you get this work done? You get there at the auto shop and maybe they're busy and it's an hour, an hour wait. Maybe the guy didn't come in this morning. He's uh, sick or drunk or, you know. It's always something. So just prepared for that. It is what it is. Uh, here comes somebody, motorcycle behind me. But, uh, so just be patient and uh, roll with it. And uh, I think that's the best advice uh, here in the Philippines is bring your patience. It's not, uh, it's probably not gonna be like where you come from, wherever it may be and uh, adapt to it and get used to it and because you can get mad you can jump up and down uh, you can throw money at it uh, it really doesn't make much difference so uh, just uh, you know just accept it somewhat and uh, try to do your best to roll with it that'd be my best advice here so that's a bit uh, a big one uh, also you know if you're a big guy like me, I'm not necessarily real big, you know, overweight. I'm tall, six foot four, and I wear a size 12 and a half shoe. Well, that's another issue on maybe getting especially shoes. Uh, the clothes you can find, and even the shoes, if you go to the big cities, you can probably end up getting a pair. But generally speaking, on the shoes, it's very difficult. Uh, to find anything over a size uh, 12 or above. So just be prepared for that. And you may have to order from some place or, you know, have some sent over from U.S. or wherever you may be from. So keep that in mind. Uh, kind of, uh, you know, dealing with people or dating people over here. Um... Yeah, people are very friendly and hospitable. That's true. Uh, the problem, I think, or the th thing I've noticed over the last 16 months is everybody's friendly and nice and says, yes, you know, yes, 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 and you're my friend, and God bless you, and all these things. But the reality of it is uh, you got to distinguish and figure out you know, what that means to them and what that means to you. And it's the same thing. 
because somebody say, oh, we friends, you my friend, you my buddy, you my brother. But uh, you may say, well, can you help me or do you want to go, go someplace today? And no response or they, uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but uh, what, the, what it really is, is no, 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 they don't want to go and they're not really your buddy. Uh, they just, it's just being polite. And uh, that's, this is the culture over here. So be prepared for that. Cause you're gonna even, if you're back in the States or somewhere, uh, you may be talking to a girl or somebody over here and they're, you know, going, oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. And telling you all the things you'd like to hear and uh, do. And and then you come over here and, uh, you know, of course they continue to say that, but, uh, you know, it's just not the, it's not the reality of it, so. I would say 75% of the people, um, you know, everybody's like, again, like I said, everybody says things, but 75% uh, or some number doesn't carry through. So it's just empty words and, you know, just empty promises. So I guess I'd rather have maybe that than people that are just, you know, rude or something. I don't know. I just read, to me, I just like to hear the truth. If you don't wanna go for a walk, uh, don't tell me it's too hot or too rainy or or uh, you will and then I w wait for you and you don't show up. So that's another thing, uh, you know, people will say, see you tomorrow, nine o'clock. Well, nine o'clock to them means uh, you may not show up, got 25, 50% chance of that. You got another 25% chance or 50% chance that they're just going to be, uh, uh, usually on average, it's about one hour <laughs> uh, late. Uh, so yeah, so kind of get used to that and be prepared for that. It just really laid back and easy going. Uh, we're going down the mountain we just come up and so we're going down that's the bay or ocean over there so it's quite beautiful so and that's what one of the positive things here uh, depends where you live but most places uh, you know you have some sort of beautiful view or uh, like this road here just uh, just lots of trees still which is unusual for this part of the Philippines because most of them is being cut down. But this road at the moment has quite a few trees, which I really enjoy. Makes you think, uh, well, that's this is the Philippines. That's what everybody kind of expects when they come to the Philippines, but that's not uh, the way uh, quite, a, you know, at least 50% of the Philippines is not this way. It's uh, really, uh, you know, trees are gone and developed or just you know in the fields or something so it's being over uh overused i guess would be a word i'd use but so that's some uh some things so if you have some other additional things in the comments uh you know this topic and these type you know it's endless uh that's why i make videos all the time and a lot of them very similar because it's just an endless uh ongoing everyday thing here because people go oh you just made video or I uh, you know this people's talked about money and talked about uh, girls and uh, this and that and it's popular video and but people talk about it all the time but it's very relevant because you're going to deal with that uh, question or problem every day and another thing back to kind of the people and lifestyle here, you know, come I come from America, so just kind of pan around here and show you the view of the morning. So it's quite beautiful here before six. It's peaceful, not many people up and it's Sunday, like I said, but I come over here and I'm, you know, semi-retired and, uh, you know, have the more leisure where I can, you know, go do things, which is what's kind of popular in America where people, uh, you know, jog or have hobbies, basketball, whatever it may be, golf, uh, tennis, that type of stuff. And over here, I've 
what I've found here, again, my experiences here in the province is very few uh, people uh, you know, do things like that. So I, even though I'm 62, I struggle to find friends or people uh, to do things with. Now it's not so bad if you're wanting a five, 10, 15 year old and you go down to the Brongai Hall and there's usually somebody shooting basketball, which is the country's, I think, number one sport, surprisingly or not. And uh, that I brought badminton racks and fr uh, rackets and frisbee and, uh, you know, things to do, thinking, you know, it's gonna be easy to get people to do that. And uh, even though I've done it from time to time, it's been very, uh, not been easy, uh, I go, sometimes a month or two or three uh, with nobody that you know does anything I you know uh, like that I don't know anybody that enjoys hiking here that I like uh, there are groups and people doing it throughout the Philippines in pockets but generally speaking there's not like a dozen people here in the area that uh, you see you know walking up and down the roads usually people's going to school going to work uh, they're walking because they don't have a motorbike or something. They're not just out uh, hiking for enjoyment like I do. So, uh, so kind of be prepared for that. If you're an active uh, person coming up here and you're looking for uh, a lot of action or people, uh, friends, it's uh, you know surprisingly hard to find, in my opinion. So I just my, like I said, my experience. So yours may be different, you know, in the city or uh, if you really adventurous and you're willing to travel, you can find a lot more people because there's some hiking groups here. And if I'm re re uh, willing to travel to another island and spend a week or whatever going someplace, then uh, you can get on there. Of course, then you pay to do things like that. It's pay, uh, pay to do sort of. Uh, trips people uh, you know get groups together and of course I guess they make money on that so I'm more one-on-one -on -one and or a small group and just you're hiking you, you know bring your food bring your water and let's go it's it's free and we're friends and let's go so and uh, we'll leave on the last topic over there's Negros Island. You can kind of see it back behind the uh, other island. It blends in with the clouds a little bit. I'll zoom in. There you can kind of see it right back there, just kind of behind the other island. That's Negros. They've had a volcanic eruption out on that one. Uh, I think it's up this way. Could be down south, but I believe it's up north. I call it north. But anyhow, so that's another thing, different things like that, earthquakes. I haven't experienced one of them, but there's a vol active volcano over there that's uh, exploded this week. And I think it's 28,000 people that's been uh, disrupted and affected by it. Uh, I don't think there's been any deaths that I'm aware of. Shot, supposedly. Uh, uh, ash and everything up. Uh, about three to five kilometers up in the air. So that's pretty big. I don't know much about them, so, but that's another thing over here, be prepared for uh, just different experiences because in America, uh, not too much, you know, out uh, St. Helen, Mount St. Helens are out that way. There's some volcanoes, but generally speaking, it's much more active here. I think they have 24 active volcanoes here in the Philippines area. So uh, not, nothing on uh, the, the Visayas Island where I'm at. So relatively safe from a lot of things here, I suppose. All right, that's my time. Thanks for watching, appreciate everybody. That's my 16 months uh, of review here in the Philippines. Just some things I thought of as I walked up the mountain this morning. So everybody take care, thank you. Uh, have a great Sunday and whatever day of week, the week it is, wherever you're at, just have a great one. So thanks for watching. That's it from Terry's Philippine Journey. Bye.